Hi, we're at Five on Fear, part eight. Today we'd like to do a review and talk about the term key. And we'd also like to, I'd like to read to you. I'd like to read some scriptures to you. The Word of God is quick, it's living, powerful, sharper than a, any two-edged sword. And we want to read some scripture and then we'll follow up with some discussion about what the scriptures mean or what what we can perceptions we have about those scriptures. Let's review the term key. A key is a device for opening or closing a lock. A key can also be understood as a means or a way to give access, control, or possession. A key can also be understood as a crucial element, an indispensable portion of something. You can't understand it without that crucial element. You can't have the substance you're trying to have without that element being involved. A key can be a code or a table for solving or explaining. If you have a test, you can have a key to the test that gives the solutions or the answers to the test so that it can be graded or checked by someone. And you have the code or the table for solving or explaining, for instance, the symbols on a map. Now let's look at keys in the scripture. I want to, us to think about a crucial element, a crucial element, an important, indispensable element. Yeshua was talking to a group of lawyers, or Sadducees, and he made this statement to them. We can read about it in Luke chapter 11, verse 52. He says to them, Woe unto you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering, you hindered. A key. Isaiah 33, verses 5 and 6 from the New International Version. Yahweh is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with justice and righteousness. He will be the sure foundation for your times, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of Yahweh is the key to this treasure. The end time treasure, the treasure that God has for you. Mm, the key. Let's read some more. Deuteronomy 10 verses 12 and verse 20. And now, Israel, what doth Yahweh, God, require of you but to fear him, fear your God, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall fear Yahweh, your God. Him shall you serve and to him shall you cleave and make your oaths in his name. What would be the benefit of that? Verse 21. He is your praise and he is your God that has done these great and terrible things you have seen. And he did them for you. Let's look at another scripture. Here's a command from Proverbs 3, verse 7. And 
the benefit of obeying that command in verse 8. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. And it shall be health to your body and nourishment to your bones.